Hello inventors, welcome to our course on embedded systems. I hope everyone is as excited as we are. In this course, we are going to start our journey into a strange yet spectacular world of embedded systems. The place where the software meets the hardware. What can you expect from this course? What type of projects you will be able to do all by yourself by the end of the course? First, we will focus on understanding the embedded system so that we are able to spot all the embedded systems around us. You will be amazed how many there are and then we'll get all nerdy and learn how this embedded system works. Once you are done with this course, you should have the ability to do all kinds of cool stuff like build your own hobby project from the ground up and turn a bunch of chips and electronics components into fancy embedded systems. Let's just say we can build our own Iron Man suit and fly around the city. I'm kidding guys, for that we need 20 years of expertise, but why not? So, who is this course for? This course is for you. If you have a love for building things, if you have always looked at a PCB with curiosity and wondered, how does this sorcery work? If you are looking for a hobby that involves fancy do-it-yourself electronic projects in your free time, if you are a student of electronics and communication science and you are considering embedded system as a possible career option, if you are a professional wishing to change your field of work to embedded engineering, if you always wondered what those pins in Raspberry Pi are for, or if you are already working as an embedded engineer and you want to do something more interesting than to watch Netflix in your evenings. Let's take a look at prerequisite. What you need to know before taking this course. This course being an introductory course doesn't need any specific prerequisite. The only prerequisite you need to have is the curiosity and the interest to learn embedded systems. If this course gets enough attention from the wonderful minds like yours, we will add more courses in the future. Making a course is a lot of hard work. And this is my first course and our time and resources are limited. So I hope you can understand why we are not able to promise anything at the moment about our future courses. If you like to support us, please hit the like and subscribe button to get the YouTube algorithm spread the course to more cool inventors like you. How this course is organized. This course consists of four sections. Section 1, Introduction. Section 1 will introduce you to the field of embedded systems. Here you will learn about embedded software, the different types and how to wield their powers to instruct the hardware what to do and when to do. You will also learn about embedded hardware, the various tools and technologies used to build those, and the tools you can use to make your proof concept like development boards. In the second section, we will focus on the most important component of any embedded system, the microcontrollers. Here, we will learn first what microcontrollers are and how powerful they are. In the embedded world, the computing needs are fairly low compared to those of modern day desktop and laptop. Hence, for microcontrollers, all the necessary parts are packaged into a small chip to make the job of hardware designer easier. Imagine if all the parts come separately. The hardware designer would need to make complicated PCBs with several components and connect them all together into a working system, which will actually take years as it is supposed to take weeks currently with the microcontrollers. To simplify it, the microcontrollers are basically a package of various electronics parts needed to fulfill a certain function. Then we will learn about the core of microcontroller, which is the processor, 
and later we will have a short look at the different processors architecture. After that, we will see a bigger picture and see how these microcontrollers fit on an embedded system to control various inputs and outputs. At the end of this course, we will have a simple demo of how software controls hardware. The third section will be all about the microcontroller peripherals. So what are these peripherals? A typical computer will have a processor to act as a brain, a hard drive to serve as long-term memory, a RAM to serve as short-term memory, and graphic cards to deal with videos, etc. The main part of a microcontroller, as we know, is the processor. This section is all about learning the other parts of a microcontroller, which are indeed called as peripherals. A typical microcontroller will have peripherals like general purpose input and output, also known as GPIO, memory. We will learn more about three levels of memory used in microcontroller and how they are used to execute our orders. We will also learn about how microcontrollers keep time by looking at the timer peripheral. Also, we will learn how we can talk to the peripheral through our programs. Section four will be about driver development. If you have been using the computer for a long time, I'm sure you have been introduced to the term device driver. What are these drivers? The job of a car driver is to control the car. Similarly, the job of a device driver is to control that particular device. This section is all about demystifying device drivers and see how you can build some simple device drivers yourself. So, how to follow along? We have designed this course, so all you need to do is to watch the videos with maximum attention and you don't need to buy some fancy development boat or reference book. However, if the inventor in you is itching to buy some toys, you can find them in the recommended tools in the video description below. Hit the like button if you like this video. We are planning on releasing one video per week for the next 16 weeks. So hit the bell icon to get notified of our new videos. Feel free to share this course with your friends and colleagues. We hope you are as excited as we are. We will see you in our next video to take our next step in our journey to become real inventors.